Early voting in Arkansas is now in its second week, and if you've seen any of the lines across the state, they are as diverse mm -hmm. as the state itself is. <laughs> but one demographic you might see more of is the younger and first-time voters. Our own Jay Burr spoke with younger voters today to see how they're approaching this election. Uh, yeah, guys, traditionally, the younger vote doesn't really turn out for elections. In fact, only 20% turned out in 2014, 46% in 2016, and 36% in 2018. But according to young voters here in Arkansas, it could be a very different picture than it has been in the past. Arkansas has already cast over half a million ballots this election, many of them younger and first-time voters. Noel Lyons is a first-timer, and he believes the younger generation is looking more at the substance of what is on the ballot instead of doing it just for the retweets and the likes. We just see it as a hashtag, go vote, take a picture with it, see other people doing it, but now we just want to get involved with it, go out, actually see what it is, to see everybody on the valley, all the, all the issues and everything. He says he was a part of a voter registration drive on the Philander Smith College campus. And he says young voters are paying attention. We see more interactions, so we just know that more people are taking it serious and we can see by the numbers. Isaiah May Jr. knows that paying attention to races, big and small, is key. President voting is cool, but we need to know more about the people that's closer to us that's really going to make the change. He thinks that many young voters in the past have skipped out because they weren't sure of the complexity of issues, and traditionally the older generation has discounted their opinions. And I see a lot of discussion between younger folks, but I feel like a lot of older people don't take the younger folks serious just because they feel like we don't know much. Both men feel change is happening, starting with this election, because many young voters feel empowered to make that change. I think more people need to get out and vote, actually look at, look at things and see what it is, because... If we just sit there and do nothing, then everything will stay the same. Now, Forbes also in a recent article citing the Harvard Youth Poll saying that 63% of Americans aged 18 to 29 plan to vote in this upcoming election. So we'll see if they can actually get to that number. As you guys might remember, it was 2008. Just a little over 48% uh, in the election of Barack Obama was the highest voter turnout for that youth uh, demographic. Live from here in Sherwood, Jay Burke, Fox 16 News.